on New Year's Eve. Todd? Well, major changes are coming for New Mexicans who rely on food stamps. Changes that advocates say could harm people and mo the people who are most in need. KOAT Action 7 News reporter Alana Grimstead explains who lawmakers want to send back to work. Thousands of people who use food stamps may soon need to work or prove they're looking for a job in order to keep the benefits. Help them become more self-sufficient. But advocates for those living in poverty say people already struggling will hurt even more. Hunger in New Mexico will increase. Here's a look at the plan. Anyone ages 16 to 59 who does not have children or has kids older than 18 will have to get a job, sign up for a job training program, or do community service in order to keep getting the food stamps. People with children older than six years old will have to prove they're actually looking for a job. We want to give people a hand up and help them find employment. And state officials say they'll help connect people with employers and training programs. So that they're not out there alone looking for these, for these jobs on their own. It will definitely affect families with children. But poverty advocates ask where all these jobs will miraculously come from. They fear there just aren't enough jobs for the 80,000 people who would now need them according to the state's plan. They don't seem to be based in any kind of sound economic reality that New Mexico is experiencing right now. State officials say right now about 420,000 New Mexicans use food stamps and almost half of them are children. Reporting in Santa Fe, Alana Grimstad, KOAT Action 7 News. Now, in this proposal, there are some groups that will not have to work to get the benefits. Anyone with kids younger than six, any people who are disabled, pregnant, or in rehab, or in college even as well. Now, these were the same requirements in 2009 before the recession hit. Public hearing is set for August 29th on the proposal. It's planned to go into effect in October.